In this video, we describe and demonstrate how to display total float on the Primavera P6 Gantt chart. Here we are displaying the total float of all our activities in the third column of our activities table. But many users also want to see the total float on the Gantt chart as well. As the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. If you can see the total float on the Gantt chart, it can give you a better understanding on what's going on with the total float in your schedule. So let's begin by entering the bars dialog at the top. This is in the layout tool group. So let's select bars and then go down to where it says primary baseline. This is where I'm going to insert my float bar. I'm going to type in the name float bar for the name. The time scale, this is very important. The time scale is going to be float bar. Then let's go with all activities now for the filter. We are going to change that later on. Now for the bar style, the color is fine. Dark blue is fine. But let's set a shape so it is low and somewhat thin. We don't want it to be too thick. So with that, we see our float being displayed on the Gantt chart. But we've got a problem here, because activities that are complete, notice to proceed, project start, and mobilize, are displaying total float. But that doesn't make sense because the total float values for these activities are null because they are complete. So we have to slightly vary our float bar definition. Let's go back to the bars dialog. And let's go to the filter column. Where it says all activities, double click on that. We want to select this so that the total float displays when the filter says the activities are in progress or not started. So check off in progress and not started. Let's apply that and then hit OK. Now we see that we don't see anything. No float bars are displaying. This is because we have a problem with our filter. Whenever your filter is not quite right, the first thing you want to do for troubleshooting is look at the filter dialog and in particular the top options. Here we've got it set to all selected filters and this puts an AND after each filter you select. So this is saying that it is going to be all activities that are in progress and not started. Well, that doesn't make any sense because there are no activities that are in progress and not started. So we want to select the Any toggle. So this now says all activities that are in progress or not started. Then hit OK. We now see displayed on the Gantt chart our total float for all activities that are in progress or not started. There you have it. That is how you display total float on the Gantt chart in Primavera P6 Professional.